Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. You're welcome in Jesus' name. Trusting God to bless you powerfully tonight. Hallelujah. God bless you. If you are just joining this meeting, you are powerfully welcome in Jesus' name. Shall we begin to appreciate the name of the Lord? Let's begin to bless him. Let's appreciate him for his goodness. Let's thank him for his faithfulness. The one that was, the one that is, the one that is to come. The ever faithful God, the King of kings, the Lord of lords. Father, we bless your name. We worship you. We give you all the glory. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for another time and privilege in your presence. We appreciate you, O oh God. Thank you, Jesus. Let's lift our voice to God and appreciate him. For a time like this, the one that has kept you and I to this very time. Father, we give you praise. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. We give you all the adoration. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be thy holy name. Immortal, invincible, the only wise God, the ever faithful God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Awesome God, mighty God, glorious God. We lift your name high. We exalt you. We give you all the praise and all the glory. Be thou exalted. Be thou glorified. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. In Jesus' mighty name, we've given thanks. I'd like you to lift your voice to God one more time and just appreciate him for the gift of life. Let's appreciate him for another time get to gather at his feet and to learn and to pray. Appreciate him for what he's going to do tonight. Thank him in anticipation. For the great and mighty things he's going to do father we worship you we give you all the praise we give you all the glory thank you father thank you jesus thank you father thank you jesus blessed be to your holy name blessed blessed be to your holy name thank you jesus awesome god mighty god glorious god we worship you in jesus mighty name we have prayed father god we thank you we give you praise we give you glory tonight Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for all that you've done for us. We appreciate you as a family of God for the privilege even to gather tonight at your feet again. We thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness towards this commission. We thank you in anticipation for what you are going to do tonight. Accept our thanksgiving in the name of Jesus. Accept our appreciation in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I decree and declare that in this meeting tonight, you will have your way in the name of Jesus that you will move powerfully among your people tonight in the name of Jesus. Everybody under the sound of my voice, I decree and declare that in this meeting, God will appear over your situation in the name of Jesus, that in this meeting, Jehovah will appear in your situation in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree and declare every part that wants to be going from battle to battle, let them be destroyed tonight in the name of jesus let that power be destroyed tonight in the mighty name of jesus any power sponsoring warfare against your life any power sponsoring battle against your advancement any power sponsoring affliction against the well-being let the thunder of god scatter and destroy them let the thunder of god scatter them tonight in the mighty name of jesus every power that has vowed that you will not know peace somebody shout a loud amen to this one every part that has vowed that you will not know peace let god waste them tonight let them be wasted by fire in the name of jesus i pray for somebody if your amen can be loud every arrow of frustration and demotion fired into your life let that arrow jump out and backfire let it jump out and backfire let it jump out and backfire in the mighty name of jesus the theme of our prayer tonight is the danger of unguarded hour the danger of unguarded hour i pray for somebody every power monitoring you in order to attack you any power monitoring your life and waiting for your vulnerable moment to attack your life let that power be buried tonight in the mighty name of jesus every satanic intelligence around your ecosystem with the intention to bring you down we command that intelligence to scatter by fire let it fail woefully in the mighty name of jesus i pray for somebody the enemy will not see the desire over your life in the name of jesus i pray for you that enemy will not rejoice over your life in the mighty name of jesus i pray for you once again the enemy will not laugh last over your life in the mighty name of jesus somebody lift your voice to the almighty god say any evil arrow fired into my life jump out and backfire in the mighty name of jesus any evil arrow fired into my life jump out and backfire 
jump out and backfire in the name of Jesus. Somebody pray with understanding and with every strength you have, every evil arrow that entered into my life, jump out and backfire in the mighty name of Jesus. Jump out, jump out, jump out, jump out, jump out and backfire in Jesus' mighty name. We pray, say any power introducing battle into my life be destroyed now in the mighty name of Jesus. Any power introducing battles into my life, be destroyed now, be destroyed now, be destroyed now in the name of Jesus. Any power introducing battle into my life, I command it to be destroyed now in Jesus' mighty name. We pray, say powers declaring unending warfare into my life, be wasted by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Any power declaring unending warfare into my life, be wasted, be wasted, be wasted. Any power in that battle will not stop in my life. I command it to be wasted tonight by the power in the name of Jesus. Any power declaring unending warfare against my destiny, be wasted, be wasted, be wasted. Somebody pray with aggression tonight. Masoka, Patalika, Tylia, every power introducing unending warfare into my life, be wasted, be wasted, be wasted, be wasted in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. In Jesus' name, mighty name we pray somebody needs to pray this prayer loud and clear tonight is a serious business lift your voice to the almighty god say powers assigned to convert my success to sorrow be destroyed in the mighty name of jesus any part that wants to convert my success into sorrow be destroyed be destroyed you that power be destroyed in the mighty name of jesus powers that wants to convert my success into sorrow i command you to be destroyed be destroyed now be destroyed now be destroyed now in the mighty name of jesus in jesus mighty name we pray i pray for you once again if your amen can turn that loud every power monitoring you're going out and you're coming in somebody say amen to this one any power monitoring you're going out and you're coming in in order to attack you at some point let them be destroyed by fire let them be destroyed by fire in the mighty name of jesus i pray for you you will not fall into the trap of your enemy in the mighty name of jesus any part that is saying that you will not know peace any person that you will not know rest any part that say you'll be going from battle to battle let god bury that power tonight in the mighty name of jesus I pray for somebody. God will fight your battle. God will fight your battle. In the mighty name of Jesus, so shall it be. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. God bless you. You are welcome powerfully in the name of Jesus to this prayer broadcast. Tonight, I'm trusting God to bless you mightily in Jesus' name. We have a very sensitive subject tonight. And the prayer for tonight is um, the danger of unguarded hour. First Peter 5, 8, very quickly. The danger of unguarded hour. It says, be sober, be vigilant. Hallelujah. Be sober, be vigilant. Because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour. Your adversary, my adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion walketh about seeking whom he may devour. Now, our idea of Satan is like a, you know, is likely shaped by, by, by Hollywood and, and, and Nollywood. You know, those of you that grew up back in my country, there's this construct around, um, you know, the image of Satan, of somebody having horns and, um, you know, so, so, some ugly looking thing. You see, um, think of, you know jesus being tempted in the wilderness in matthew 4 there is no physical description of the devil at all in that scripture praise the lord the devil is simply called the tempter and i know in scripture he appeared you know and he was described with several other things and in a place he was even described as the serpent and that place was described as you know um, adversary of the of the brethren now this particular scripture is referring to the same devil as a roaring lion now a, a roaring lion is a very terrifying and, and, and a very overwhelming being as it were hallelujah because when you think of a lion roaring in its full force it can be very you know terrifying and very overwhelming it can be very scary i've been to a zoo before and the sight of a big lion even from the other side can be very terrifying and so the bible is saying that your adversary my adversary as a roaring lion walketh about seeking whom he may devour now pay attention he didn't say whom he may fight not whom he may injure whom he may devour as I looked upon the scripture, I took time to meditate upon it the first time I, you know, developed this message. And, you know, I questioned, 
myself and you know I, I began to a question dropped in my spirit and the question is why does lion roar and i quickly went into the internet to go and google why lions roar and you know i i, I saw on the internet that a lion's full roar you know can be heard for as far as eight kilometers away on a normal day it's often described as a long threatening groan ending in a deep throaty growl hallelujah now this roar is typically associated with territorial behavior it's a demonstration of power and is used to warn competing lion prides hallelujah and other animals so um the the, the dominance of a lion hallelujah the, the likeness of a lion and the expression of his territorial dominance is is made known through the the roaring of the lion and i got the understanding that the devil owns this cosmos hallelujah in fact the bible calls him the god of this earth so he, he is the god of this world and we are in his territory we are in his territory so when it when he roars is an attempt to prove that yes this is my space this is my novene but don't forget that even we as believers we we our father is the lion of the tribe of judah hallelujah and a lion will never give back to a goat and so sustained within your dna spiritually hallelujah is the dna of a lion you have something inside of you because your father is the lion of the tribe of judah so woven into your essence in your dna as a believer is the strength and the ability and the character of a lion i pray for somebody tonight whatsoever has terrified your life either too as from this minute your god will terrify them oh god will terrify them in the name of jesus in fact the bible says the righteous are as bold as a lion so the bible likens us hallelujah it likens the boldness of a believer to that of a lion so when a lion roars at a lion you know a, a fellow lion is not terrified you roar back hallelujah and when they get into the fight the, the the stronger one defeats the other one i'm praying for somebody tonight every power terrifying you either too as from tonight your god will terrify them god will terrify them in the name of jesus there are times when satan's attack you know is meant to terrify us to make us to lose balance looking at what the bible says he says he's looking for whom he may devour hallelujah and it's not whom he may fight now the word devour means to eat hungrily to eat food or to eat your prey hungrily no so this guy's attempt or, or agenda is not to is not to injure it's not to wound it's to kill that is why we must sustain the ability as believers and the bible was telling us in our in, in our opening text that be sober be vigilant so we are not kept in the dark as to the remedy to the constraint of our adversary going about and the way we can be excused the way we can be rescued the way we can get exemption from his enterprise the bible shows us in first peter 5 8 it says be sober and be vigilant i pray for somebody tonight god will open your understanding in the name of jesus as many who are sleeping spiritually god will wake you up tonight god will wake you up tonight in the name of jesus so it says be sober be vigilant in other words be calm be observant pay attention to details be discerning is a loud call to every believer be attentive be discerning be observant pay attention to details many christians are in trouble today because we are not observant hear me anytime you lose vigilance you become vulnerable because you are subjected to, to attack of the enemy anytime you lose vigilance you are very very vulnerable the enemy can attack you anytime and in this case it's not an attack to just wound or to, to, to injure it's an attack to kill this is how we can afford to sleep spiritually we need to be on the guard at all time i prophesy every evil verdict pass to kill before your time we cancel it tonight we cancel it tonight in the name of jesus because there are many times the enemy they conclude a verdict in the kingdom of darkness but because a believer is not observant they execute that you know that judgment and it comes to pass in the physical but i pray for you tonight every satanic verdict that they have passed against you in the realm of the spirit if your amen can turn that loud let it be cancelled tonight let it be cancelled tonight in the mighty name of jesus beloved the need for this period is a powerful persistent passionate prevailing prayer 
It's not time to talk stories. It's not time to gallivant. It's not time to be, to, to be careless. It's not time to just do anyhow. The need for the hour is powerful, persistent, passionate, prevailing prayer. The need is far greater than most of us realize. If ever at any time believers need to pray, it is now. We need to be alive and awake ourselves even before more than any other thing. Because you see, when we stop to pray, we become a prey. Hallelujah. When we stop to pray, we become a prey. When we stop to pray, Satan prevails. If at any time, beloved, we should pray at all, it is this very time. And if prevailing prayer is very, very important, then we should then take it as something very, very serious. It should not be joked with. Many believers will still trivialize this area of prevailing prayer. Listen, you are vulnerable without a sustainable, consistent prayer life. I will say that again. If you don't sustain a consistent, strong prayer life, you are a vulnerable Christian. Therefore, your, your alertness in the spirit is largely predicated upon your depth of prayer life. I pray for somebody tonight, any area of your life where darkness is prevailing, I decree and declare, let there be illumination. Let there be illumination in the name of Jesus. If there's any area in your life that is currently going through darkness, let the light of God shine in that area. In the mighty name of Jesus, Apostle Peter tells us loud and clear, be sober. Be vigilant because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour. We are also warned by Paul, who said, Wherefore, let him that thinketh he stand. The Bible says, Take heed, lest he falls. First Corinthians 10 12. Let him that thinketh he standeth, take heed, lest he falls. Now, be warned, beloved, it is those times when you think all is very good it is those times when you feel you are all good it's those areas of your life where you feel you are the strongest that sometimes it can be most vulnerable attack of the enemy because you don't think you have anything to worry about in those areas the chances are that you overlook those areas because you think you are all good in that area i pray for somebody the enemy will not catch you at back in the mighty name of jesus any power assigned to ambush you somebody shout a loud amen to this one any power that wants to ambush you ambush your husband your wife ambush your children let that power be wasted by fire let it be wasted by fire in the mighty name of jesus i pray for somebody hearing me the enemy will not ambush you in the name of jesus you will not be ambushed will you not be ambushed in the mighty name of jesus two scriptures very very quickly like i told you we have prayers to pray tonight but i'm trying to sensitize you in the area of this teaching so that when the time comes to pray you can pray with understanding the first scripture second samuel 3 from verse 22 to 34 second samuel 3 from 22 to 34 now pay attention to this beloved I beg you pay attention. 2 Samuel 3 from 22 to 24. He says, And behold, the servant of David came. Hallelujah. Servant of David and Joab came from pursuing a troop and brought in a great spoil with them. But Abner was not with David in Hebron, for he had sent him away, and he was gone in peace. Now, you know who Abner is. When Saul, King Saul was alive, he was the commander-in-chief of that of his army. This man called Abner. Now, this man called Joab is the current commander-in-chief of the King David. And Bible says when they came back from pursuing the troop, this man Abner was no more with David, for he had left in peace, for he had sent him away. He was born in peace. Now, 23, when Joab and all the host that was with him were come, they told Joab, saying, Abner the son of Nah came to the king, and he sent him away and is gone in peace 24 then joab came to king and said what hast thou done behold abner came unto thee why is it that thou sent him away and is quite gone thou knowest abner the son of Nair, that he came to deceive thee and to know thy going out and thy coming in and to know all that thou doest now 26 then joab and when joab was come out of david he sent messengers after abner which brought him again from the well of Syrah. But David knew nothing about it. 27. And when Abner was returned to Hebron, Joab took him aside in the gate to speak with him quietly and smote him there. Ah, I pray for you. 
any part that wants to waste you before your time any part that wants to catch you unaware let them be buried tonight let them be buried tonight in the mighty name of jesus now watch this he said and took him aside in the gate to speak to him quietly he presented the intention of calling him back to speak to him Bible said, and he smote him there under the fifth rib that he died for the blood of asahel his brother now this guy killed asahel but don't forget in that scripture he warned him to go back this guy would not turn back he said, go back why should i smooth you for you're my brother he kept pursuing so it wasn't like he killed him intentionally or out of wickedness but this guy called joab did not forget and since then he was waiting for a time and such a time to make sure i kills him back and see what happened and bible says afterwards when david heard it he said i am a kingdom a guiltless before the lord forever from the blood of abner the son of Ner. 29 let it rest upon the head of joab and all his father's house and let them fail not from the house of joab one that had an issue now this is how generational cause begins sometimes let there fail not one that has an issue or a leper or either lineth on the staff or either falleth on the sword or either lacketh bread i pray for somebody every generational cause that is holding your destiny let the blood of jesus wipe it out let it be wiped out by the blood of jesus every negative statement ravaging your destiny by the power in the name of jesus let it be cancelled let it be cancelled let it be cancelled in the name of jesus as many going through a situation and you know nothing about it as many fighting the power of what or, or generational cause let the blood of jesus wipe down that cause let it wipe it out let it be wiped out in the name of jesus now watch this he laid the curse on joab say let it not cease from his father's house one that will have to lean on the staff one that has an issue or one that will fall on the sword or the one that will lack bread or one that will be a leper now it means that in that generation if you escape being a poor man you will die by the sword if you escape dying by the sword you will finally be a leper if you don't be a leper there must be one issue or the other this is the mystery behind the battle of people i decree and declare as many going through a situation based on the cause on your forefathers let the mercy of god exempt you tonight in the name of jesus let the power of jehovah separate you from that cause tonight in the mighty name of jesus so Joab and Abishel, his brother, slew Abner because he had slain their brother Asael at Gibeon in the battle. 31. And David said to Joab and to all the people that were with him, Rent your clothes and guard yourself with sackcloth and mourn before Abner. And King David himself followed the prayer. 32. And they buried Abner in Hebron. And the king lifted up his voice and wept at the grave of Abner. And all the people wept. And David lamented over Abner and said, now pay attention, and said, Abner died as a full diet. Thy hands were not bound, nor thy feet put in fetters. As a man falleth before wicked men, so fallest thou. And all the people wept so again. I pray for somebody, any part that wants to kill you before your time, let God bury that power. Let God bury that power in the mighty name of Jesus. Anybody conspiring wickedness against you, I decree and declare, let it fall upon their head. Let it fall upon their head in the mighty name of Jesus. Look at this scripture. It says, Abnaf died as a fool diet as a food as a man falleth before wicked men so it is a possibility you can be a righteous man but yet fall before a wicked man i pray for you tonight you will not fall before a wicked man in the mighty name of jesus i decree and declare your blood will not be shed by violent men i say violent men will not shed your blood in the name of jesus by the power in the name of jesus anybody that wants you to die before your time they shall die in your stead in the mighty name of jesus now watch this watch this this guy was just there he did not realize it was there was somebody monitoring him and wants to kill him hear me beloved the, the the unguarded hour is a very dangerous hour anybody that is targeting you oh i pray for you again every deception around your life targeting your unguarded hour let god expose and scatter it 
let God expose and scatter it in the name of Jesus. Anybody that is false but presenting as true before you, God will expose them to you. God will expose them to you in the name of Jesus. Any power waiting for day and time of your vulnerability so that they can attack you, your God will fight them to finish. God will fight them to finish in the name of Jesus. Beloved, what is an unguided hour? A time when you are not paying attention, hallelujah, to what you are doing or what you are saying. What is an unguided hour? Is a time where you are spiritually or physically on alert. What is an unguided hour? It is, it is a time when you are physically or spiritually vulnerable. What is the unguided hour? It's a time when you are unprotected. What is the unguided hour? It's a time you are vulnerable to attack. I pray for you once again. Everything around your ecosystem will not harbor evil against you. In the name of Jesus, anything in your ecosystem will not harbor evil against you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Now watch this. 2 Samuel 20 from verse 9 to 10. It's a very painful scripture. Look at this. 2 Samuel 20, 9 to 10. Beloved, it's important for a believer to be discerning. It's important for a believer to, to, to be very, very alert. Don't just be carried away by the emotions or by the environment. Make sure you are spiritually alert. Watch this. 2 Samuel 20, from 9 to 10. Joab said to Amasa, he sees the same Job, Joab again. Joab said to Amasa, how are you my brother? Look at that expression. Now, how can you imagine somebody came with a very nice and warm expression, but the intention is, is completely different. Listen, beloved, you must sustain the grace to be able to differentiate between the words and the intention. You must understand that the word is one thing, the intent is another. I pray for you once again, the grace to discern the intention of men. Receive it now. Receive it now. In the name of Jesus. Because you see, there are men that will come to you in a very subtle and warm way. But their intention is intrinsically wrong. Except God exposed to you, you will fall victim of their intention. But I pray for you tonight. You will not be a victim. Oh, you will not be a victim. In the mighty name of Jesus. Second Samuel 29 to 10. Joab said to Amasa, How are you, my brother? Then Joab took Amasa by the beards with his right hand to kiss him. Look at this. Look at this. Very, very unsuspicious situation. Amasa, Bible says, Amasa was not on his guard against the dagger in Joab's hand. Hallelujah. 2 Samuel 29 to 10. He says, Amasa was not on his guard. I pray for you. As many who are losing their guard, God will open your understanding. Oh my God, God will open your understanding. In the name of Jesus, Amasa was not on his guard against the dagger in Joab's hand. And Joab plunged it into his belly and his intestine spilled out on the ground without being stabbed again. Now, in other words, it was only one stab and all his intestine was out. Amasa died. Then Joab and his brother Abishai pursued Sheba son of Bakri. Now watch this. Amasa lost his life, not because he was not strong, not because he was not powerful. In fact, he was a warrior, but he lost his life because of one unguarded hour. Listen, all it takes a reputation of years that you built to be toppled and wasted is one unguarded hour. All it takes for a very good name to be destroyed is just one small little mistake. What it takes for the enemy to waste a destiny sometimes is just one loose end. But I prophesy any power waiting for your unguarded moment to attack you, let that power be wasted by fire. Let them be wasted by fire. In the name of Jesus, lift your voice to the Almighty God. Say any power monitoring my time in order to attack me, be wasted tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus, any power monitoring my life in order to attack me be wasted be wasted be wasted in the mighty name of jesus anybody any unfriendly friend monitoring my life not to attack my life be wasted be wasted lift your voice to the almighty god let them be wasted in the mighty name of jesus anybody monitoring my life so that they can attack me let them be wasted tonight let them be destroyed let them be destroyed in the mighty name of jesus in jesus mighty name we pray Watch this. 
very wicked intention but appeared in a very subtle way the bible says amasa was not on his guard against the dagger in joab's hand as many were spiritually sleeping and you are not aware of your environment let the lord wake you up let the lord wake you up in the mighty name of jesus listen there are people who come to you and appear very warm and nice they approach you with plastic smiles <laughs> whereas they are monitoring you for the sake of evil intention believe me honestly we live in a very wicked world a particular man in my country is a very he was a very strong man in fact he was a magician when we we're growing up in the early 80s he was a very popular man those days in a place called National Theatre in Gomu, Lagos, Nigeria. This guy, when he's carrying out his enterprise, he will take his wife, one of his wife, he will slaughter him, you know, on a bench. And you will literally see the woman slaughter. The next thing, the woman appears behind the curtain. He was a very powerful magician. Everybody knew him in my country those days. But one day he was on the television show, sorry, he was on a radio station. And the presenter asked him, you are a very powerful man. Everybody knows you to be a very strong man. When is it that you are most holy and pure? And you don't, you know, you are, your, you are, you are in your natural state. And he, carelessly on a national radio station, on a national program, he said, anytime I'm going to go and pray for Jumat on Friday, I don't take any of my powers. I'm always before my God. And the enemies heard that less than two months to that time they entered his house on a particular friday as powerful as this man was they killed him like a chicken i pray for somebody anybody monitoring your words anybody monitoring your movement anybody monitoring your life so that they can bring you down they shall go down for your sake oh they shall go down for your sake in the name of jesus every evil and satanic observer monitoring your life god will expose and disgrace them in the name of jesus lift your voice to the almighty god say every evil observer monitoring my life be exposed and be disgraced in the mighty name of jesus every evil observer monitoring my life be exposed be disgraced be disgraced in the name of jesus satanic observer monitoring my life be exposed and be disgraced in the name of jesus somebody lift your voice to god every evil observer monitoring my life monitoring my ministry be exposed and be disgraced in the name of jesus every evil observer monitoring my life god expose them tonight in the mighty name of jesus be exposed be disgraced be exposed be disgraced be exposed be disgraced in the name of jesus in jesus mighty name we pray there is a saying in my language you can never be wiser than the person observing and monitoring you dedicatedly. Hallelujah. You can never be wiser than the man that is monitoring or observing you dedicatedly. I pray for you once again. Any evil observer, anyone observing your destiny or your life and reporting back to the enemy, God will blind them tonight. In the name of Jesus, every weapon they are using to monitor your life, let that weapon catch fire. Let it catch fire. Let it catch fire. Let it catch fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, somebody lift your voice to God. Say, oh God, arise deliver me from the one monitoring me dedicatedly in the mighty name of Jesus oh God deliver me rescue me oh God from the one monitoring me dedicatedly in the mighty name of Jesus oh God arise deliver me deliver me from the person monitoring me dedicatedly in the mighty name of Jesus anyone monitoring me dedicatedly arise oh God tonight deliver me from them deliver me oh God deliver me oh God deliver me oh God in Jesus Mighty name, we pray. Evil observers, they cleverly observe you and they bring you into bondage or they attack you unexpectedly. The assignment of evil observers is to cleverly observe you, they monitor you and they can bring you into bondage on account of the data they've collected about your life or they can attack you. Now, Satan or the enemy will never attack you in the area of your strength sometimes, but in the area of your weakness. Many times is when they've collected data. Many of us, we are spiritually careless. Some even fight the battle that does not belong to them. Many are not paying attention to the matters of destiny. There are many of us, we think everything is alright. Bible says, woe unto them that is in Zion. The matter of life and destiny should not be taken with levity. You must be of Observant. You must be careful. You must be very, very, very observant. Don't take destiny for, for granted. Don't undo destiny with levity. Don't just do it one day at a time. 
you sleep, you wake up, you eat, you go to work, get paid salary, buy one or two clothes. There is more to destiny than those things. You need to be very, very careful. I decree and declare every intention of the enemy to bring you into bondage. Let that intention fail woefully. Let it fail woefully in the mighty name of Jesus. Now, this is a function of evil observers. How did the enemy know your weakness? They didn't just know, except that they've collected data. They collect through through friends. They collect it through your lifestyle. Many things we don't pay attention to is how enemy collect data about us. If you are a believer and the enemy can preempt you, there's something wrong with you. You need to be very, very careful and go and cry to God. The Bible says, as the wind bloweth, but nobody knows where it listed. So is the one born of the Spirit. If people can preempt you easily as a believer, you are vulnerable. But I pray for you, Matapali any power collecting data about you in order to attack you let the power be destroyed let god destroy them let god destroy them in the name of jesus i just heard this in my spirit every of your data in the hand of the enemy let god wipe it out let god wipe it out in the mighty name of jesus every data they've collected about you in the realm of the spirit and they are waiting for time and day to attack you let god cancel that data let god wipe that data in the mighty name of Jesus anyone in your life with the agenda to bring you down let God expose and disgrace them in the name of Jesus every unsuspicious enemy somebody say loud amen to this one every unsuspicious enemy in your life God will expose them God will expose them in the name of Jesus every unfriendly friend in your life God will expose and disgrace them in the mighty name of Jesus listen there are people we call unfriendly friends. Hallelujah. Unfriendly friends. They appear to be friends, but they are unfriendly friends. There are some people, they are so hard to suspect. Ah, somebody lift your voice to God. Say, every battle in my life, uh, every unsuspicious battle in my life, scatter by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Every unsuspicious battle in my life, scatter, 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 scatter in the mighty name of Jesus. Every battle that is difficult to suspect in my life, you that battle, scatter, 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 scatter to desolation in Jesus mighty name we pray hear me there are people that accept god exposes them you will never ever ever suspect them you will never ever know their intention this is one of the assignments of the holy spirit in your life i pray for somebody anyone they have chosen or assigned against your life god will expose them to you oh god will expose them to you in the mighty name of jesus this is a very critical subject the danger of unguarded hour many have lost money because of unguarded hour many have lost businesses because of unguarded hour many have lost relationships many women have been driven out of their husband's house because of unguarded hour many have lost children because of unguarded hour but the grace of god sunday is mother's day and i'll be talking on the power of the praying mother anybody hearing me if you are a mother and you have glorious children it's not enough to send them to school if you want to reap the fruit of your labor you must be a praying mom matters of destiny are settled on the altar not by sending them to international school or by taking them on holiday or buying them good things why those things are good you must make sure that you sustain the fortitude to keep and protect their destiny on the altar many have lost glory your children because they are spiritually careless many have lost their important values because of unguarded hour i pray for you by the power in the name of jesus any part that wants you to be vulnerable god will silence them for your sake in the mighty name of jesus lift your voice to the almighty god say anybody plotting destruction against me destroy yourself in the mighty name of jesus anybody plotting destruction against my life against my ministry destroy yourself destroy yourself destroy yourself in the mighty name of jesus anybody plotting destruction against me destroy yourself in the name of jesus lift your voice to god and pray that prayer very well anybody plotting destruction against my life against my ministry destroy yourself destroy yourself destroy yourself in the mighty name of jesus in jesus mighty name we pray
in jesus mighty name we pray say any power reporting me to the covid for punishment be wasted by fire in the mighty name of jesus any power reporting me to the covid for punishment be wasted be wasted be wasted by fire in the mighty name of jesus somebody pray that prayer very well any power reporting me to the covid for punishment be wasted by fire be wasted by fire be wasted by fire in jesus mighty name we pray say oh god arise deliver me from enemies that are difficult to suspect in the mighty name of jesus oh god arise deliver me from every unsuspicious enemy in the mighty name of jesus deliver me O god deliver me O god in the mighty name of jesus oh god arise deliver me from enemies that are difficult to suspect in the mighty name of jesus oh god arise deliver me deliver me from every unfriendly friend deliver me O god from enemy that are difficult to suspect in the mighty name of jesus in jesus mighty name we pray hear me unguarded moments are very dangerous moments it comes so quickly and most often the damages created may be unrepairable oh yes it comes so quickly and most of the time the damages created may be unrepairable but you see most times the consequences might take us by surprise but the threat does not and because many times we are not observant because many times we are not careful to pay attention this thing comes and they create havoc and so apostle peter was advising in first peter 5 8 now you can relate to that scripture he said be sober be vigilant be sober be vigilant because you see life as it were will always present challenges at one junction or the other the enemy will always launch attack at one time or the other but what excuses us or rescues us from that constraint is that we are sober and we are vigilant in the place of sobriety is where you pay attention many don't even meditate in the place of vigilance is the place of the altar where you stay as a watchman lord what are you saying concerning my children what is happening concerning my territory lord what are you saying in this season you tarry in the place of prayer and so peter was speaking he said be sober be diligent for your adversary goeth about as a roaring lion looking for whom he may devour now interestingly he didn't say it's in a particular location he would have said i'm not going to go to that location but god if you don't go to him he will come to you bible says he goeth about he has no permanent destination he's going everywhere and the agenda is whom he may devour i decree and declare you will not be devoured oh you will not be devoured in the name of jesus from every evil attack god will rescue you god will rescue you in the name of jesus as many who are sleeping spiritually the bible says in the book of ephesians 2 it says arise arise out of sleepers and christ will give you life arise from the dead as many who are sleeping because the bible likens a sleeping christian unto a dead man i decree and declare as many who are sleeping spiritually let heaven wake you up i can't let heaven wake you up let heaven wake you up let heaven wake you up in the name of jesus listen this enemy is not playing the guy is going about looking for whom he may devour but i pray for you once again you will not be devoured you will not be devoured in the mighty name of jesus many see the temptation we recognize the sin we are not just aware of how far and how deep or destructive that might truly be the 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 the, the problem comes so quickly but god preempts us but because we don't know how deep these things can be or we don't pay attention we allow it to come and take things like that I could give example and on and on and I'm sure you also have examples as well. We know people who have lost decades of hard work due to one moment of stupidity. We know great men that the enemy has brought them down because of one moment of vulnerability. They didn't do what they accused them for but every, every, every evidence as it were points to that they did it thanks to one moment of vulnerability. And so many believers, we are careless. We see the threat, 
We see the red flags, but we don't pay attention. In Judges 16, oh my God, time is fast spent. In Judges 16, from 6 to 20, Judges 16, this was a story of a very powerful man. A, a, listen, when you think of Samson, don't just think of physical Moses. He was an anointed man. He was a Nazarene. An angel came to deliver the message of his birth. There's been a prophecy over this man's life. Many people hearing me tonight, there is a prophecy over your destiny. But because you are not paying attention to destiny, either at all, nothing has happened. Look at this, Judges 16, from 6 to 20. Bible says, so Delilah said to Samson, I beg you, tell me the secret of your power and strength. Tell me, how can one get power over you and tie you up and hold you? To start with anybody who is spiritually alert, you ask me that question. From that moment, I cease to be your friend. But when a believer is sleeping, even when you see the danger, you don't pay attention. This is a challenge of many of us. Now, seven, Samson said to her, they must tie me with seven new ropes. Now, in his mind, he thinks he's, he's, he's playing the lady. The enemy never rests. They are always up to something. Samson said to her, they must tie me with seven new ropes that have not been dried. Hallelujah. Then I will become weak and be like any other man. Verse 8. So the leaders of the Philistines brought her seven new robes that had not been dried. And Delilah tied Samson with them. She had men hiding and waiting in the other room. She said to him, The Philistines be upon thee, Samson. But he broke the robes like a spring break when it touches the fire. So they did not find the secret of his strength. Then Delilah said to Samson, See, you have fooled me. You told me lies. Honey, you lied to me. How can you claim you love me? Now tell me, I beg thee. How can you be tied? This is madness. How can you be tied? 11. Samson said to her, They must tie me with new ropes which have never been used. Then I will become weak and be like any other one. I prophesy into your life every power investigating you for destruction somebody say loud amen to this one any power investigating you for destruction let god expose and destroy them let god expose and destroy them in the mighty name of jesus verse 12 so delilah took new ropes tied something with them and said the philistine be upon thee men were hiding and waiting in the other room but something broke the rope from his arm like a string Delilah said to Samson, you have fooled me again until now. Tell me, how can you be tied? Samson said to her, you must walk the seven string on my hair to the cloth that you are making and hold it there with a nail. Then I will become weak and be like any other man. 14. So why Samson slept? You can see this problem of sleeping again. You can see the danger of sleeping. I, I would, by God's will, I would do a teaching on the danger of sleeping very, very soon. The Bible says, why men slept? Why, you see, the Bible says, why Samson slept? Delilah took the seven string of his hair and walked them into the clothes. She held in place with a nail, then said to him, The Philistine upon you, Samson, but he woke from his sleep and pulled away the nail. The clothes maker and the clothes. The Lala said something. How can you say I love you when your heart is not with me? You lied to me these three times. I pray for somebody. Every unrelenting enemy, every enemy bent on your destruction, God will bury them for you. God will bury them for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Listen, there are people like Delilah around you. They may not be opposite sex, but they are friends who secretly ask for the for the for, for, for the for the area of your strength. They want to know how to attack you. They are in your place of work. They are among your business partners. Some are in your locality. Some are even in your local church. I decree and declare everybody investigating you with the agenda to bring you down. God will bring them down for your sake. They shall go down for your sake in the mighty name of Jesus. Now watch this. How can you say I love you when your heart is not with me? You have lied to me these three times. You have not told me the secret of your, of your, of your powerful strength. 16. She asked him daily, daily, ah, daily, daily. You see, it's amazing how the enemy can be very persistent in their enterprise. And believers cannot sustain prayer for a very long time. We pray over a matter for one day or two and we give up. Listen, it is you that does not know yourself. The enemy fighting you knows you. The God that created you also knows you. It is you that don't know yourself. If you know what you are worth spiritually, you will not relent. The Bible says if you fail in the day of adversity, it says your strength is little. As many hearing me,
enemy who are getting tired god will strengthen you god will strengthen you in the name of jesus you know there's a saying in my language that persistence is what makes a woman to give in to a man hallelujah it is persistence that makes a woman to eventually give in to a man even when the woman doesn't want to date the guy by the time the guy is persistent is coming again and again the guy eventually gives up bible says and she asked him daily daily she asked him day after day until his soul was troubled to death ah, everybody or anybody mounting pressure on you with the agenda to bring you down god will silence their enterprise in the mighty name of jesus now verse 18 he says the saw that 17 sorry so he told he asked him daily day after day until so was trouble 17 so he told her all that was in his mind ah, he told her all that was in his mind he said to her my hair has never been caught for i have been in nazareth to god from the time i was born if my hair is caught my strength will leave me i will become weak and be like any ordinary man the last saw that samson had told her the truth now question how did she know it was the truth this time the enemy sustains an intelligence to know when you are when you are, when you are vulnerable they can also tell they have an inner witness that brings them to that reality of the actual time to attack you bible said when the last saw that samson has told her all the truth she went and called of the philistines saying come at once for he has told me all he knows so the little listen came to her and they brought the money in their hand she made something to sleep look at this matter of sleep again she made something to sleep on her knees then called for a man to cut the hair to, to, to cut off the seven part of samson's hair she began to hurt samson and his strength left him they did not only cut the hair they began to hurt him this was somebody that claimed that she loved they began to hurt him until his strength left him 20 she said the Philistine are upon this something he woke up from sleep and said i will go out as at other times i will shake myself free but he knew not that the lord had left him oh my god i pray for somebody god will not leave you god will not leave you in the mighty name of jesus any part that wants to empty you any power that wants to empty you let god empty them let god empty them in the name of jesus this scripture makes us to know that a man can be empty this was a man that was full of the spirit but because of his vulnerability because of his unguided hour he could not keep his mouth shut the enemy emptied him any power that wants to empty you god will empty them god will empty them god will empty them in the mighty name of jesus any power that wants to distract you so that they can bring you into emptiness i decree and declare let that power be wasted let them be wasted in the name of jesus anything enemy has planned to destroy your labor whatsoever they have done to destroy your hard work i decree let that thing fail every evil plan to bring down your hard work let that plan fail let that plan fail in the name of jesus lift your voice to god say every power waiting for my own character to attack me be destroyed in the mighty name of jesus every power waiting for my own guided hour in order to attack me be destroyed be destroyed be destroyed be destroyed in the mighty name of jesus be destroyed be destroyed command them to be destroyed every power waiting for my own guided hour to attack me be destroyed now be destroyed now be destroyed now in jesus mighty name we pray the time is gone say oh god arise deliver me from the enemy monitoring me persistently in the mighty name of jesus oh god arise deliver me from the enemy monitoring me persistently in the mighty name of jesus oh god arise deliver me deliver me deliver me from the enemy monitoring me persistently in the mighty name of jesus oh god arise deliver me from the enemy monitoring me persistently in the name of jesus in jesus mighty name we pray say satanic plot assigned to ambush me be frustrated in the name of jesus satanic plot assigned to ambush me be frustrated be frustrated be frustrated in the mighty name of jesus satanic plot assigned to ambush me be frustrated be frustrated in the mighty name of jesus satanic plot assigned to ambush my destiny assigned to ambush my ministry Ministry. be frustrated be frustrated be frustrated in jesus mighty name we pray say oh god arise scatter the company of evil observers assigned against my life 
in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God, arise, scatter the complaint of evil observers assigned against my life in the mighty name of Jesus. Arise, oh God, scatter the complaint of evil observers assigned against my life in the mighty name of Jesus. Scatter them, oh God, scatter them, oh God, scatter them, oh God, scatter them, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise, scatter the complaint of evil observers assigned against my life in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. We pray, say, O oh Lord my God, increase my alertness in the mighty name of Jesus. O oh Lord my God, increase my alertness, increase my awareness in the mighty name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray that prayer very well. O oh Lord my Father, increase my alertness, increase my awareness in the mighty name of Jesus. Increase my alertness, increase my awareness in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we thank you. We give you all the praise and all the glory. Thank you for a time like this. Thank you for sending your word to us. Father, be thou exalted in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for everybody under the sound of my voice. God, we increase your awareness. Spiritually, God, we increase your alertness. In the mighty name of Jesus, any area in your life that is open to attack, let God block that area. Let God block that area. In the name of Jesus, every unsuspicious enemy in your life, God, we expose and silence them. God, we expose and silence them. In the mighty name of Jesus, because of tonight's prayer, whatsoever the enemy has cleverly planned against you, let that thing be frustrated. Let it be frustrated. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you. You will not fall into the hands of the enemy. In the mighty name of Jesus, thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. God bless you, everyone. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for taking out the time to connect tonight. The Lord bless you. The Lord honor you in the mighty name of Jesus. If you are joining us for the very first time on this platform, you are welcome in Jesus' name. This is Word Alive Mission and Ministries International. We welcome you in Jesus' name. Our imperative as a ministry is to share the word of God undiluted and upon revelation, we swing into prayer. And so you've come at a very good time. We welcome you. We trust God you've been blessed powerfully tonight. And we would love to see you again and again in our meetings in the name of Jesus. This meeting runs every Friday from 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. for just one hour. And last Friday of the month is normally a vigil from 11.30 to 12.30, just one hour as well. We appreciate you. And we say thank you for taking the time to join us. And we'd love to see you again in Jesus' name. Amen. Quick announcement and we bring the service to a close. I want to invite everybody, if you live within the um, Medway area or within the circumference of the M25, Maystone, Gravesend, Dartford, um, Swindon, um, even Croydon, hallelujah. I want to invite you to please be a part of our Sunday worship service every Sunday at our worship center, Hilltop Primary School Hall, Frinsbury, Rochester, ME24QN from 11 a.m. in the morning to 1 p.m. in the afternoon. I believe the team are currently sharing you know the the flyer for the church on, on the chat right now hallelujah so we love to please have you in our midst and um, you'll be blessed even as you do so in jesus name sunday is mother's day i want to invite every mother to be a part of this glorious service the lord has a word for us it's going to be a very quick and short one but there, there are key words that god wants us to learn and apprehend from, from from scriptures and so i'm inviting every mother to please be a part of this glorious service in Jesus name I want to take this privilege on behalf of myself and my wife and the ministers in this ministry to say happy international um, women's day to all the women on this network God bless you in Jesus name we pray that you make impact in your generation in the mighty name of Jesus in Jesus mighty name amen every Monday the women on this you know in this ministry normally meet they have their platform to meet on Mondays from 7 p.m. in the evening to 8 p.m. so I'm encouraging all the women to be a part of what God is doing and i want to encourage everybody finally if you have not you know if you're not following us on our social media platform please do well to follow us on instagram on facebook and subscribe to our youtube channel watch the videos click on them and like them if you have been blessed and the lord bless you as you do so in the mighty name of jesus on that note we shall bring the service to a close i pray for you in the name of jesus that as you go to this weekend the lord go with you in the name of jesus may he call his face to shine upon you 
in the mighty name of Jesus. Every of your desire and righteousness, this weekend, there shall be a performance of everything in the mighty name of Jesus. The eagerness of God will come quickly and speedily to perform that which concerns you in the mighty name of Jesus. This week, you have a testimony. This weekend, God will surprise you in the name of Jesus. So shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen.